with us as we bring you highlights, interviews and happenings for this two days KE Affairs 2024. Our students will get the right connections with industry because um, there is a lot we have given them in terms of skills. But um, they need the platform to be able to exhibit those skills. What um, the industry is looking for is skills. So one way to bridge the gap is for us to give them the skill that industry needs. So we are sure of what we have given them. And that is why we need to bring the industry for them to know that our students have these skills that we have imparted in them. Could be in marketing, in product development, in branding, all that we have, they have those skills, top-notch skills that industries need. We are looking forward to this, um, making it more a student-centered uh, place, whereby students will now be able to get more help to do with career counseling, uh, CV guidance, networking, and also when it comes to placement. So we expect to do better, although we have been doing it at a smaller scale. So a cover letter is a memo or a letter, as it says, that usually has three to four paragraphs. You are writing it to your employers, explaining why you are fit for the role. CV talks about detailed explanations about yourself. But mind you, the resume also talks about your educational background. Not too much. Don't put too much of education. I mean, just put the important things there. Employers, they have certain interests they're looking at. If you come to the interview, remember, your CV is still a skeleton. You might think that you need to have the perfect CV, beautifully written. Double check it with chat GPT. But that's not what we're looking for. In fact, the more perfect it is, the more we're going to really want to sense check. When you know your value, you get to know the things you need to put in place so that you'll be valued at that value you're selling yourself. Your value is not to be said, but it is supposed to be proven. So that's just it. I know that um, we are underrepresented, which is true. But us being scared is, I don't think it's the right word. And also, like, what have you done to encourage women to enter into the IT world? We think you are supposed to have somebody to link you to the employer. I just want to know why is it that you always ask for three to five years experience? So my first interaction with the Education Collaborative was actually in Lagos last year during the West Africa Hub Convening where I really get to see how the Education Collaborative connects with other higher institutions in Africa and it has really opened my mind to what is possible here in Sierra Leone and at Limcoquin University. So when I came back from the convening, I realized the gaps in terms of our career service and we started fixing the team, we had a new staff, and we are now looking at, uh, you know, implementing some of those uh, frameworks we learned from the convening, and we are now conducting our very first career fair in the university. to welcome you all to our very first career fair, a milestone event dedicated to bridging academia with industry. Let's have an inspiring and impactful career fair. And I want to once again to wish you good luck and enjoy your day. This event marks a significant milestone not only for Lim Kokwein, but also for the broader academic and employer community in Sierra Leone. Today, we celebrate Lim Kokwin for spotting an opportunity and taking a chance to present an industry-changing program for students and alumni of this institution. 
Life by Design Group has already been in partnership with um, Lim Kok Wing on a couple, over a couple of projects. It's a, it's a three-level program, Life by Design Group in conjunction with the um, Lim Kok Wing um, University, um, which includes soft skills, tests, career guidance, technical skills, communication skills, professional and work ethic skills, some core office skills, problem solving, critical thinking, job search skills, CV writing, interview skills, LinkedIn profile setup, and all of those things. There's a booth we have, we have a desk, a table, somewhere down there at the career fair. Go there, find out more, get more, more data, and you could sign up, we could take, take your details and register. We have a group of talent here, all over here. They have talent, but they've not been able to build their portfolio. So at TechFit, we're going to be helping them, prepare them, and connecting them, and helping them understand what it takes to keep the job. Outside that, our curriculum is built based on industry needs not just random preparation. So we are there to just ensure that these graduates get the job and also stay on the job. TechFit is going to be hosting these freelancers on our platform, connecting them to jobs and also ensuring quality control. So as students here, you have a platform now to begin to test your skills. We also have jobs for students. 200 level, 300 level, where you begin to get connected to real life opportunities, where you get tested, and over time, you build capacity before you go into the main market. For the first time in Sierra Leone, we are experiencing this one. So thank you, Lee Kong Queen. One key takeaway from my journey is the importance of networking. I want you to take note of that. Networking, building relationship is crucial. Don't hesitate to reach out to professionals and ask questions and seek advice. You never know where a simple conversation may lead you. So today, if you come across pro organizations, talk to them. Ladies and gentlemen, as you explore the booths today, take time to engage with the representatives. Ask questions, gather information, and consider what you truly want in a career. This is the first step in shaping your future. To really help us understand what graduate employability looks like, what are the challenges, what are the things that we've done well, and how can we collectively move forward. Often a time, you will see people are academically equipped for the job, but when you get in contact with them, you realize there are a lot of things that are missing. So for me, I will consider communication skill as a critical Point. If you understand what is expected of you and what you are expected to do, then it will limit a lot of conflict in the work environment. So for me, I, co I consider communication a key, a key uh, uh, um, responsibility for everybody and a key skills for you to have. When you go to university, when you go to school throughout the year, they build your skills, they build, they build your thinking, the ideas. And that critical thinking is what we always look for. Because there are times when interns come to me and we work together, that these are the things I look for. Apart from communication skills, whether you can think critically outside the box is very key for us. And many times I would tell them, these skills, you need it. Expectations are high because looking at the training that industry people that have impacted our students and I know because based on the testimony that I got in yesterday from the student that attended the first day, they were able to come up with some valid discussion that this opportunity is good for us and some of the mistakes that they used to do looking at the job environment when they go for interviews, how to write their CVs and so on and so forth, they were able to have that clear yesterday. I already told my students to not see this as a pen and paper or a book your event. That this is an opportunity for them so that they can interact with the industry. Because uh, this is going to expose them to different
different type of industry because as I am seeing around, we have different type of organization that are here and we are very happy as a faculty because when you are going to the professional world, you need to know the to know the know-how. Give the opportunity to our students to meet with different companies, different industries outside there, because all what they are learning here is to for them to meet with companies and work with different industry and companies. For the career affair here now, we are just so happy. The companies are here now with it's an opportunity, it's a good opportunity, especially for industries like ours. Um, I think this is one of the problems we've had in Sierra Leone where there's this gap between talents and um, organizations. So most of the time we want employees, but we do not know where to get that pool of talents from. These students get to meet their employers. So one thing I am expecting, or one positive area I'm actually focusing now, is the fact that we get to see what the students get to offer to us. And we are able to tell them what we also want to offer to them and how best their career can actually align with what our company has.